at the back. Can you hear me? Can, cannot. Hello? Okay, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so let's continue our lecture. So uh, from today, we will uh, talk about the module three, positioning. Okay, so we will spend the three lectures to uh, talk about this module. Okay, as I mentioned, module four is um, for you to self-study. So for this class, we will um, talk about module one to module three. And also for exam, uh, we also will examine these three modules, okay? Now let's take a look at the, this uh, positioning module. Okay, so let's see, first see what is uh, positioning. As I mentioned before, so uh, this course is about mobility management, and right? And uh, for mobility management, actually, one part is uh, localization, and uh, the other part is this positioning. For in our previous lecture, actually, we mostly focus on this um, uh, localization. So, like in cellular network, we uh, try to find the current location of the user, we do the location update, right? But in that case, actually, we are not care much about the exact special position of the user. We only care about which uh, base station this user is associated with. So in that case, uh, we call it localization. For this positioning, most of the time, actually, we care much about the user's uh, special position, spe special position of a target here. And uh, in order to represent such special position, actually we need a coordinate system. Usually we will use a coordinate of a position to represent the user's position, okay? And uh, in order to Determining the position, uh, we have several um, measurements. We can measure, see, um, usually uh, we need some uh, fixed point here. So this fixed point, we also call it a reference point or reference station. So we will need the help of those points to help us to determine the position of the target user. And for those fixed points or for those uh, reference points, we assume that we know the exact position of those points. Okay, and then we mirror the, the, for example, the, the, the range between those points to the target user and based on the range, we can determine the position, okay? So this is the way we can do. So in addition to measure the range, we also can measure other, other observables. Uh, it can be a range, uh, it can be this uh, range difference. We, 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 know, we only know this information. So any point along that circle could be the target user. Okay, but we need to determine the exact position, right? So in this case, so we consider another base station, like base station three, okay? So, so if we consider this three sphere intersect, okay, so for this three, actually when it, it intersect with um, the joint part of one and two, and you will see that actually this is a intersect, intersection. Okay. So this circle actually uh, means that all the a point along this circle will have the distance R3 to 
the base station 3. And at the same time, they will have the distance R1 to base station 1 and R2 to base station 2, okay? And uh, you will look at this two circle, the, when they, these two intersect each other, we got two points, right? When two circles, they intersect, these two intersect, and this, this two point, one is this point, and the other is this point. So these two points are the intersection of these two circles. So you can see that when we have three base stations, so, and then eventually we can determine these two points. So this two point has those three range to those uh, three base stations, but we don't know which point it is, right? So in this case, actually, we need to add another base station. So in that can help us to determine which the point uh, the user is. So you can see that for the 3D environment, actually, we need a four base station. So three is not enough. So we need four base station. So this is different from this uh, 2D case. Okay, any question for that? And uh, to derive those uh, coordinates, we use a similar method. So here for the 3D case, so we have this equation. And then we can write down the four equations for that four base station. And then we, we can uh, solve those four equations and we can uh, get the position of that user. Okay, so this is the things we can do. Okay, um, actually, what I mentioned here, we use this uh, equations to solve this x, y, and z actually is for the perfect case. Perfect case means that we can get those range uh, perfectly. We can know this range without any error. So in this case, we can use those equations to help us to derive those uh, uh, value of x, y, and z. However, we know that in reality, we cannot narrow those range so accurate, right? There is some error happens. We, we, we cannot uh, know the exact value perfectly. So sometimes when we narrow the value, actually it uh, includes, uh, actually you do not need to worry much if you uh, are not familiar with this uh, mathematic details because um, we actually we, we will not examine you on those uh, um, mathematical details on that, okay? But uh, because for this iteration, in order to understand the principle, so it's necessary to mention that uh, you, you do not have to uh, understand the old details, but you, you need to know that how we derive those delta x, delta y, and delta z, okay? And uh, for this Taylor series expansions, actually we can uh, write uh, this equation, okay? So this is just for your information. You, you do not have to, you know, uh, understand the details. You, you, you can just, uh, uh, just uh, follow this equation. Because for this uh, Taylor series expansions, we have this uh, equation. You may not know how to derive that. That part is not necessary, okay? And this, uh, this means the partial derivative of each, uh, of pi respect to xi. And this one is the partial derivative of pi with respect to yi, uh, y prime, okay? And then, and for this partial derivative, so if we look at this equation here, this one, actually we can use this equations to derive this partial derivative, okay? Now we, we won't go through the details of the derivation, so that part is not um, quite, not important. So you, you, we, we, I just show you the result, okay? So this is uh, the result after we do the partial 
derivative of uh, this pi with respect to x prime, and we can get this result. And we denote this as ai. And similarly, we can also get the partial derivative of uh, pi with respect to y prime and z prime, and also we have this, we denote as uh, bi and ci. And uh, for this part, actually you can see that this xi, yi, zi, we assume we know that this is a coordinate of the base station. And x prime, y prime, and z prime, they are the value of the, of our estimation, we, we will set up a guess for those uh, estimations, so we also know this value. Okay, so in this case, actually, we can determine those value of A, I, B, A, and uh, C, I. Okay, so based on that, actually, we can uh, later see how we derive those uh, delta X, delta Y, delta Z, okay. Uh, I will stop at here, and uh, Let's have a short break, and then we will have our uh, tutorial, okay? <laughs>